Yes. It's still. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Her. Keeping it real. Steven and this is Steel Keeping It Real. Now on my second one for Old School Saturday, I'm going to go not necessarily with a rap song but with a, a dance song. Um, there was a person called Connie. This is 1985. Um, her name was Connie and she had a hit called Funky Little Beat. Now it was a very infectious type of song. It was a very easy danceable song and I almost want to say this could be considered a summer song because of the way it sounds. It just got certain airy feelings of everything being positive and, and things like that. Um, so it was a very a good dance song. Now back in the day, if you didn't have a, a Chuck E. Cheese or it used to be called the Showbiz Pizza, um, there wasn't a lot of places for kids uh, under the age of 18 that they could go and hang out other than the mall. Um, so, um, but, you know, Showbiz Pizza did allow uh, a dances, I believe it was like every Friday night, and it wasn't so geared towards little kids like Chuck E. Cheese is today. It was geared towards teens. It still had like the worst, back in the day, it had the worst pizza in the world. But when you're, when you're starving, you only got like five bucks and things like that, it, it tasted good. Uh, but uh, Connie, um, was part of that resurgence that was starting to come out out of Florida, uh, which is where, like Vanilla, Vanilla I said, um, Miami is where the bass sound was created. Uh, and you had people like that. You had people like Stevie B and the Egyptian Lover. And then you had these little other people that were popping up and into the mix, like Connie with the song Funky Little Beat. And Connie does come from uh, uh, Florida as well. So I believe you'll like this song. Uh, the video quality isn't that good, but we are talking 1985. And so, um, and it, it's a hidden gem. Like I said, it wasn't a, a nationwide hit, uh, but it was a hit in the clubs. So without any further ado, here is Connie and Funky Little B. And here we go.
I give you all these clues and you still don't know what to do. So you know that guy in the video that kind of looked like Turbo from Breaking is not Turbo from Breaking. Number one, that guy was too tall. Number two, uh, his arms were too big. Turbo had like skinny little arms, uh, and um, that was just a Turbo wannabe. They probably couldn't afford Turbo because that was in 1985, and Breaking had come out in 1984. Breaking one and two came out in 1984. They tried to capitalize on off, off of the first one. So, um, you can hear it. It was a nice, sweet little ditty. Uh, if, if you were in the club, it is exactly as the title says, a funky little beat. Okay? So, um, I haven't heard a lot from anybody lately. I haven't been getting any suggestions. Um, so, please, if you're looking at these, uh, please continue to give me suggestions. Please continue to like, subscribe, share, comment, and peace.